Only on WLWT, a Northern Kentucky family doing anything and everything they can to help their 13-year-old little girl battling brain cancer. Mario Wills has been fighting for much of her life. She had her fourth surgery just weeks ago. WLWT News 5 anchor Chris Jacobs here in the studio joining us with how that family is managing. Chris. Yeah, and this little girl really lit up a room. I actually didn't even think I was interviewing her when I first got there. But as you can imagine, this has not been an easy process just listening to this Taylor Mills family story. It seems like it's been one hurdle after the other, but that's not stopping this family who refuses to give up. She's a fighter. She's a trooper. You can't even tell that she just had surgery two and a half weeks ago. A fighter that's been battling almost her entire life. We found out when she was six months old. And since that point, it's been constant worry for little Ariel Wills and her mother. She just had her fourth surgery on um, April 24th, uh, two and a half weeks ago. And um, now she's been diagnosed with stage three, uh, gungolmia brain cancer. The 13 year old doesn't have to look far for inspiration. What inspires you to fight so hard? My mom. Even though it's been an uphill battle every step of the way. Back in February, um, they found her at school unconscious in the bathroom, rushed her to Children's to find out that she had a seizure and that her tumor came back. Her mother Betty is now unable to work, leading to even more financial problems. With my bills and everything being due and me having to go to her appointments and then now we have to um, Monday through Friday, we have to drive to Westchester, Ohio. A process taking its toll on all aspects of this young family's life. There's just no words that they can put in to make it any easier. They love me and they try, but it, nothing's going to ease my pain or brain until when they tell me she's in remission. Yeah, well, this family is turning to the public for help. They've set up a GoFundMe page. We'll have that link on our website. That's WLWT.com. Chris Jacobs, WLWT News 5. All right, I certainly hope people are able to see this and if you're able to help that family and certainly our thoughts and prayers with you. You keep fighting. Strong little 13-year-old there.